mind. You ever just like wake up and think, yep, shit, I'm gonna do something crazy today. Yeah, we're doing something completely wild today. I have a bunch of vintage packs that have been sitting in my safe literally for, for years. You know, back during the Pokemon boom in, in 2019, 2020, 2021, I was buying these packs left and right with the intention of opening at some point. And I was kind of stacking up on them just because I figured one day they're gonna just disappear and then you won't have any more. You guys remember, I used to do a lot of vintage opens on the channel, and then I realized it's expensive. Now, one pack that's gonna stand out specifically is this one right here. As you can see, it's a first edition uh, base set pack from um, a set Pokemon. The reason why this is special, this is the last pack from uh, PokeRev's original box break back from 20, 2020 now, I wanna say 20, maybe might, might've been 2019. Back when he was selling for like 2,500 a piece, I tapped in and I bought two. And the reason why I never opened this is because it was a weird weight. I bought two packs. The, the first pack was definitely a super light, but this one's like in between. It's weird. I don't know. And that's why I just never wanted to open it. But fast forward, uh, there was never a Charizard pulled inside that. And I believe only like 11 hollows were pulled. So either there was only 11 hollows in that box or I have a weird weight of one. And this is going to be the final hollow with the potential Charizard being inside it. You know, at this point, I know these packs are very expensive and, and normally you don't want to open these anymore, but I bought this when it was a fair price. And then these as well. I mean, this is going to be a very expensive video. We're gonna go through this right now and just open it just because I, like I said, I woke up today and I wanted to be, I want to do something crazy. So let's, let's hop in. Some of these are heavy, some of these are unweight, some of these are light question mark, and I figured let's see what happens. First things first, we're gonna go through Neo Genesis, my favorite pack of all time. As you guys know, I had a lot of history with Neo Genesis. Ooh, it's, 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 we're beyond the, we are, we're beyond that point. A lot, of, I had a lot of history with Neo Genesis. I originally pulled the Lugia. You guys remember? Oh, is this gonna be um two from the, the two, two, two. I, I originally pulled the Typhlosion and Lugia on my channel, and uh, end up grading both from tens. And I still have them to this day. I will never get rid of those. All right, here we go. I'm not expecting much. Quilava, we got Magmar. We got Pillow Swine, we got Syndical, we're getting some starters. We got Onyx, we got Meryl, ooh, the classics. I love all these classics. Ladyba, originally what I was gonna do, I was just gonna open one of these for like a YouTube short, and I figured, psh, I don't want to see a short, let's do a whole video, and I figured, let's just do one. And if something fire happens, this could be like seven shorts that's gonna get posted on uh, on YouTube. We got Hoot Hoot, and the rare is after this. We got arcade game, so that one was indeed a light. I got some pretty good comments. But I'm not gonna front. A lot of times people open these like, well, at least you got Cyndaquil, at least you got some starters. Nobody cares. <laughs> Let's be real, nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares about these. Um, especially for the price that these actually are. All right, let's do, let's do something fun. Let's, uh, let's step, uh, you know what, not yet. Let's open this. I know this is gonna be nothing. And the reason why is because I think when I bought this, I definitely bought this at a time of Pokemon where th no, there was no such thing as unweighed anymore let's be real a lot of times people will say unweighed unweighed didn't exist for a while i don't know if, if like unweighed came back but like a lot of times people said unweighed it was just kind of like unweighed asterisk so i'm i'm expecting this to be nothing we might have nothing in, in this entire batch over here i got surskit we got doduo we got articuno that's a nice one and behind it we got a melodic yeah we got nothing in that one we got the cool articuno though but again i'm not i'm not gonna be that have a person that's gonna be all like, oh, you pull, you pulled fire, rhyme. <laughs> now nah, we pull bulk. Let's be real. We, we got bulk. Let's so go right into the bulk pile. All right, let's do. Let's let's switch it up. Also got some shadowless packs in here as well. I got two shadowless, and these should be heavy. Should be heavy. Let's do this. I bought these from Gary um, King Pokemon, literally in like 2019. Let's start with some base set action. Got the long packs. This should be heavy as well. I bought these as heavies. Uh, but I always always know that because of the long pack, it's it's kind of weird. We're not gonna do any packs. We're just gonna hop in. Tangela, Bullpix, we got coughing, Charmander. Oh my God! I got a starter. Nobody cares. <laughs> I mean, some might care. I actually love this Charmander art because it's got a special place in my heart from when I was a kid. I remember this was like the card that like started for me. So we're gonna put you actually in the back for good luck. We got Sandshrew. Energy, energy, and Dragonair. So that one was a light pack. But not to say I was scammed. When I bought the packs from him, um, I bought like four. And they all weighed the same. And I opened two of them, and they were hollow. So really goes to show you that a lot of times, you never really know. Wow, Dragon Dratini. 
You can't really tell. Charmeleon? Okay. You can't really tell sometimes. Uh, unless you got like the box. And like, again, I bought four at heavy prices and two were hollow. So it is what it is. All right. Watch this be an, an entire video. All just light packs. All right. Another reason why I'm doing this is, is check this out. You guys are going to go insane when I tell you the story. So remember how I used to open Tops Pack, Tops 2000 Pokemon in search of first appearance Lugia? I had eight packs left. Eight packs left. The reason why I never opened them is because I had pulled the Blossom. If you guys remember, I pulled the Blossom uh, first appearance Ghost Rare card. And I said, oh, these are going to have nothing. So I set them aside. And I kept them aside literally for years. And I decided, you know what, I'm just going to sell them. And I'm getting rid of them only to hear that there was a first appearance Lugia in one of those packs. That, I mean, it was completely destroyed because unfortunately Topps cards, they stick so badly, but it would have been a really, really fun video. And on top of that, I, really, I would love to grade that just to see like the BGS one or the PSA one on that because it, it's my card, it's my pull. So yeah, now I decided I'm gonna start opening some of these packs because I wanna see what's what else has been just sitting inside my safe for as long as it has. Now the one card I want to pull out of Fossil I don't care about anything else but the Gengar. The Gengar is one that I just really, really remember a lot with the uh, computer graphics, and I really would love to pull one. So let's see if we can get that. We got Psyduck, got Kabuto, but I don't want I don't want Himali, I don't want Kabutops, I don't want Lapras. I don't care how much it's worth. I want the Gengar. That's the that's my chase right now. Monster will be fun too. Recycle. We got Tentacool. We got Grimer, Slowpoke, and it should be the next one, I believe. Oh, Magneton! <laughs> we got our first holo of the video. Magneton! And then we got Magmar, Tentacle, and Golem. I mean, I guess I'll sleeve it up. Because it is still a first edition card. But Magneton, I feel like, was one of my least favorite Pokemon of all time. At least when it came to... Well, I would say of all time. I would say when it comes down to cards. I, I hated seeing Magneton in base set. And I definitely hated seeing Magneton in uh, Fossil. But, hey, we got our first holo finally. Let's go. That pack has been literally sitting in my batch since like 2018, I want to say. All right, let's do, let's switch it up. Let's do some Team Rocket. I believe these are going to be light. Um, now again, we're just asking the question, if they're light, Ryan, why are you opening them? Whatever, man, let's just, let's just have some fun for once. So, you know, let's go back to 1999 for a second, you know, and just, just enjoy the, that you know, time period. If you were there, let me know your favorite memory. We got Zubats, Ekans, we got Machop and a Dark Machamp non. Ooh, okay, I like this Dark Wartle. I know, I know, I was just saying like I hate when people get all fake hype about like certain cards, but Dark War Turtle was a cool. One. Look how smug he is. Dark War Turtle, and um, honestly, even uh, Charmander. Not not Charmander. Dark War Turtle and Squirtle were like some of my favorites. Let's see if we can go um, one for two at least. These are all weird weights again. You know, I saved them in my heavier batch where hollows were pulled before within that. Again, you never know. That's why it's 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 kind of important to also be educational about this. Don't just buy packs randomly on eBay because it says, oh, this weighs 21 grams. Because you never know. I mean, some of these packs are were super heavy and they ended up being nothing. Though. Charmander. We got Machop. We got Slowpoke. We got Dark Radicate. And we got Rocket's attack. Sneak attack is like the worst card you can get. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. All right. Now we're down to the set that started it all. Do we have... Oh, we do. I was going to say, do we have, do we have unlimited before we get into the goodies? Let's open this unlimited pack. Uh, Y'all better hit the thumbs up on this, by the way. I don't know the next time I'm going to do this. Because I have a couple of packs left. But I, it's one of those things where they're heavy. But I want to keep them as like a collectible, if that makes sense. Knowing that there is a potential Charizard inside them. I'm never going to probably open those. But hey, you know what? For a one time, I'm going to come back and do a vintage pack because it's been a long time, especially on this channel. We got Weedle, my boy. Charmander, you can hang out in the back with the squad. We got Tangela. Even though I said it's Tangela or Is it Tangela or Tangela? Type it down, down below. Starmie. Yes, Lee. We got Energy. Energy and... Dragonair twice that was supposed to this pack weighed like 21.4 this is a super heavy pack again goes to show you it goes to show you is it, is it an extra card sometimes an extra card let's find out one two three four five six seven eight 
Wait, it was 10. No. Wait. Oh, 11 with the, with the Charmander in the back. That's crazy. This is a super heavy pack. Okay. Again, uh, if we get a hit on any of these, though, it, it's it's a big one. You know, I, um, the Ch Charizard's all I want out of any of these. We're going to open this one last. Again, I am pretty confident this is going to be a non hollow And if it is, it is what it is. But at least at least I'll know. It's, it's like peace of mind. Open you last. Let's do Charizard first, because there's always like this uh, fan theory for a lot of people that Charizard's are always pulled out of Venusaur packs, um, which it's it's all randomized, obviously. There's no there's no real um, strategy that says, oh yeah, there's going to be stuff in this. All right, as you can see, we have the Shadowless confirmed inside this. Here we go. These were expensive packs. I remember I bought them at the height of the Pokemon hype back in like 20, 2020. Magnemites. Squirtle, it's a winner. Put your side. Nidoran. Caterpie. Switch. Energy. Let's go backwards. Got Raticate. Got Pokemon Flute. And we got Ivysaur. Yo, those are some good ones. Those are some good ones. Final card, drum rolls. <laughs> the worst hollow you can pull inside this set. <laughs> that, damn. How do you look at least? How do you look? Let's see. Let's let, let's smell the 1999 over here. Polyrath is definitely like one of the worst ones you'd want to see. But hey, we're having fun, right? <laughs> now I know. So I have four heavy shadowless packs. Uh, and I this is one. I have four left. I have four left. So I have four left. I think I had a total of like six. The Polyrath is out of that picture. <laughs> okay. And then we got the Squirtle and Ivysaur. It's not bad, actually. Uh, again, I'm not, not not to like fake hype it up, but Squirtle and Charmander are probably amongst the favorites to pull. And I will sleep this up. And he look great, too. He look great. You can hang out next to the Polyrath. You know what? You can get in front of the Polyrath. I think you're, I think you're more hype than the Polyrath. Ivysaur. I guess I can leave you up as well. I can get these graded. Maybe I can like sell them and make back some of the money. All right, let's go into the Venusaur pack. As you guys know, this is where a lot of fan theories are like, hey, Charizards are pulled out of uh, Venusaur packs. Which again, I want that to be clear. There's no real trick to this. All right, energy removal. There's this Shadowless Abra. Got Machop, got Pidgey, Eateran, Energy, Energy number two. Are you dead ass? And there's boy? no fathomable way that I got two, bro. God, God, if you want to say something, just let me know. <laughs> Yo, there's no way. And that, bro, this is you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. I'm gonna grade these actually. I'm gonna grade these. I'm gonna grade these, and hopefully they're both tens. Just to at least be like, huh, at least you got two ten shadowless cards out of this. Great, it's still worth like seven cents. <laughs> All right, though. So, not a lot of good stuff pulled, but all that really matters is this. Again, this weighed weird. Um, for perspective, the light pack that I got. So, I got two Charizard arts. Remember, they all grabbed the random. I got two Charizard Arts from the original Poké Rev box break. The first one weighed like 20.4. It was like super low. Usually if you're 20.4, it's dead. This one weighs 20.87. Why? So only the only theory I have maybe it has 10 cards instead of 11. There, there is sometimes an error where you get, you know, have uh, all, all 11 cards. Or maybe it's like a weird Polyrath, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Screw it. Let's do it. Let's go in. Let's, let, let's just rip the seal. And see what happens. You know, you can only really win here at this point. And hopefully you will walk away with like um some starters at first edition. That we can, you know, raid, maybe get a 10. That makes up for it. Because I like I said I originally paid 2500 for these packs, uh, for the first edition ones. I bought two of them. So if you get like even two starters and they happen to be tens, kind of pay for a pack. That's just how, that, that, that's how I cope. That's how I cope. I've right, got water energy. Nidoran. Diglett, 
Abra. So far, not 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 the best um pulls. Fire energy. Stormy. Damn. <laughs> we got Ponyta. Ooh. Oh, Clefairy doll, and there it is. <laughs> it was an 11 hollow box. Damn. Eradicate. Seal. Final card is revive. You know what we're gonna do? Because I was so confident that this wow, we got we got no hitters here. I was so confident that this was going to have a magical hollow. I was like, yeah, well, well, you know what? Maybe it's one of those things that built up, you know, the luck built up over the course of years. Let's open one more pack. All right, so this is it. I have three packs. Uh, I think I have a fourth somewhere, but these are the ones I just I was able to grab just in the spur of the moment. We're going to open one of these, and these are supposed to be super ultra mega heavy. If this ends up having no hollow inside, I'll, I'll be flabbergasted. flabbergasted. I was just like, all right, well, you got me. All we don't want to see is polyrath. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go in. Let's go in. Just for the one time. Well, just for the one time. We'll be back to doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, modern openings in the next, you know, a couple of weeks. We got Vulpix. We got Coughing. Charmander, my boy. Come back. We got Sandshrew. Switch. Energy number one. Go from the back, actually. Now. We got Nidorino. We got Poke Flute. And Porygon. Here we go. Energy number two. Anything but Polyrath. I saw the red. I saw the red. Oh, I saw the red. Nine tails. Yo, we got like the worst hollows. Damn. Now the question is, do I open the other two? Kind of. I kind of want to. I kind of want to. Because I'll be real with you. I'm not going to sell them. Do I, just, do I just rip the band-aid off? Do I do it? I'm gonna do it. I know this is this is nuts. This is nuts, but I'm gonna do it. Let's do the Blastoise pack. The reason why is because I already have uh, a PSA 10 version of the first edition pack um, graded. And I have that for Char for Charizard and Blastoise. So it's like I have like the pack just there. Um uh, I, I don't really care anymore. I don't want to sell. I would never sell this because if I if I sell this and I see someone pulled a Charizard, it's gonna hurt. So we just have to know. This is literally peace in mind. Starmie, got Ghastly, Caterpie, Red Cheeks, Pikachu. Wow, that's a big one. That's a huge one. Oh my God, Poliwag, Energy, Energy, Gyarados. Cool. It's better than the ones that we got so far, though. It's way better than Nine Tails and Polyrath. We'll put you to the side. We got Ivysaur, Nidorino, and uh, Double Colorless Energy. We're gonna go ahead and sleeve up the Gyarados. And actually, let me see how you look before I open the next one. Cause these came from the same box. Uh, looks good. Looks very good, actually. Great centering too. Gotta uh, send us off to uh, PSA here in uh, the next day or so. I'm excited about the Red Cheek Pikachu, I'll be honest with you. I think I pulled Red Cheek Pikachu once before. And this actually might be the first time. Because I know when I pulled Pikachu in my original uh, pack from, I think it was from uh, Shady Penguin, it ended up being um, just a regular uh, Yellow Cheek. All right, here we go. The final pack. I can't believe I just opened all my, all my Shadowless packs like this. <laughs> I can't believe that. Here we go. Any of the starters, Blastos to be great. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let's just ask what we want. We want to see the Charizard. Is the energy supposed to be in the front? That's weird. Caterpie, Switch, Vulpix, Energy. Why, why is this so out of order? What happened? What happened? Voltorb, Machop, and a Chansey. That's a big one. Why was it so out of order? What happened? Chansey. Oh, it's got the print. I was about to say, Chansey is like one of the most infamous cards to grade. Um, Why was that out of order? What happened? Does anybody know about that? I've, I have don't think I've ever seen that. I was going to say, Chansey is one of the hardest tens to get for, for uh, Shadowless and First Edition, I believe. 
just because of all uh the hollow background and and yeah looks great though but i, I don't think it's gonna be great word you can see the massive pillow on top all right that's that we actually ripped the band-aid off we finally ripped the band-aid off and we know that there was no charizard inside these packs all right that's that so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did thumbs up uh i guess stay tuned for more i don't in the foreseeable future see myself doing this again but i just have to know like i said uh when i saw and heard that the packs that were that came out of my safe ended up having a first prince lugia i just had to know what was inside these now i know <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed we didn't get the charge i wouldn't get any of our chases but hey you know what i had fun i i don't regret this at all and i pulled a red cheeks pikachu for the first time as well as you know we got gyarados nine tails and polyrath twice <laughs> i hope that gave somebody a laugh at least so, yeah anyway stay tuned for more uh my name is rhyme style see you in the next upload